Hey, what's going on, folks? So today we're going to be talking about this new mini series that's available on Amazon Prime called The Last Narc. Uh, it just released uh, as of July 31st, this, this following Friday, this past Friday. And um, there's a lot to really take into here. Number one, we're going to go back to May because this mini series was originally supposed to be released May 15th. And the trailer and everything had dropped and then it just disappeared. It wasn't on YouTube. You couldn't find a trace of it. And for many reasons, I know it was a thing. I know it wasn't just a figment of my imagination. But nonetheless, it was just gone. Uh, and then with it disappearing, you know, there was stuff that came out saying that, hey, you know, it was removed because national security reasons. And uh, even Amazon, you know, replied to people on Twitter like, hey, what's up with this release? And they're just like, hey, we're not even sure if or when this will ever be released. So that's just really like the dynamic here that's going on with this project. But nonetheless, The Last Nart is a four episode mini uh, mini docuseries that is uh, about 45 minutes each episode. And this highlights uh, the murder of DEA agent um enrique kiki camarena now if you may not be totally familiar with that name uh if you've seen this series on netflix uh narcos mexico um this is the character that michael pena plays that you know is the de agent who was tortured to death and um pretty much just you know took the the war in mexico the drug the drug war in mexico to the next level the u.s had had it but so as you know, in each of those episodes on Netflix, if you've seen it, you know, they always say like some of the stuff is the reenactment is just it's fake. In other words, you know, to kind of make the episodes flow. You know what I mean? So there's there's a lot of fluff to it. But this right here takes you uh, to some personal testimonies of people uh, who were involved with this firsthand, who knew what happened, who had uncovered more details what happened. I mean, you're talking to uh, Kiki's wife. You're talking to uh, DA agent Hector, who we're going to talk a lot about Hector. And then you're talking to uh, three members uh, who was undercover in the Guadalajara cartel. So this is just some crazy stuff because like as much as, you know, everything is happening down there with the cartel and with uh, and with El Chapo and everything and all their heinous crimes, like hearing the things that I heard, the the, the, rele the uh, just the, the uncovering of the story and the revelations here. Um, it is this absolutely nuts. I just, uh, I just cannot really put my mind all together. But I'm just gonna say this for the sake of spoilers, because you want to watch this 100%. You know, Hector talks about his time and his involvement with this case because he was tasked to kind of figure out what all happened, and Hector found too much out, and that's never a good thing. But I'm just gonna say Hector pieced together ties with. The DEA, the cartel, the Mexican government, the U.S. government, the CIA, all of them having a part in this. And it's just mind-blowing, the connections that are that are being made here. It's, it's just crazy. It is absolutely crazy. There's no, there's no other word but just crazy. Unless there's a word crazier than crazy because that's what it was. Because just hearing about all of this and how things were done, how uh, things were covered up, how... You know, certain protocols wasn't following. Uh, how, uh, whew, just, just a lot, just a lot. I just, ugh, you just gotta watch this again. If you're like, if you're a fan of Narcos Mexico, then you absolutely want to watch this because you want to know the truth or you want to know what else was happening, how it all got to that. Because it really does give you, you know, before the kidnapping, after the kidnapping, and not just on a higher level of just like what you may see in narcos but like it's really going to the nitty-gritty and then the grain of each person who was involved how they were involved and just the bigger bigger picture here and if you have not seen narcos and you want to check this out because this truly would have you just thinking 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 easy it's a four episode binge and it has so much information anybody who loves a good documentary will absolutely love this it's shot in beautiful 4k so if you have 4k definitely make sure you enjoy it in that but it's just amazing this is a really good docuseries 
But yes, The Last Narc, for all it's worth, is finally out right now um, on Amazon Prime Video. Definitely in the comments, let me know what you think about it. Let me know what other thoughts you may have in this because I got some thoughts of my own, but I'm not going to leave it for this review. But definitely in the comments, let me know and stay tuned for the next review very soon. Peace out, y'all.